Hello, I'm Christine. Welcome to Book Talk. Today we are discussing Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Eleanor and Park is a contemporary novel, a standalone. I read very little of these, and when I do, my book talks are usually very brief because unlike a series that's supernatural or a series in general, there's not much to theorize afterward, and a lot of the stuff in it is precious, and I don't want to spoil you on it. I really enjoyed Eleanor and Park. It was so It made me laugh, it made me feel like, oh my god, this is the cutest thing I've And it also made me cry at points, and I just really enjoyed it. I had one problem with it, it irritates me that this problem came up because I loved it so much, and then there was just this one thing that, oh, just didn't make it a five star in my book, but I really recommend it, guys. I don't usually like giving out synopsises for contemporary books since they're so short, but if you really want to know, it's a love story between two misfits. Now, if you already read Eleanor and Park, you can stay. If you haven't, I encourage you to leave and then come back, okay? Bye for now, people who haven't read it. Okay, guys, I loved this. In the beginning, it was like a little shaky because it was kind of really sad and then the relationship starts to build and it's so adorable and just the comic books and the reading over his shoulder and then how he brought the stacks every day and just every little thing and when they first held hands and I was so cute. The character development that went along with it, the back and forth POVs, the two families, I just feel so bad for Eleanor. I couldn't believe she didn't have a toothbrush. It's just Eleanor had it really, really tough. Her stepdad, I was really hoping, would die in a drunk driving car crash, and just so unfortunate that he didn't. Eleanor and Park were just the most adorable couple to read about. When they met and they went to the school and read Watchmen together on the steps, I just, it was so I love Park's family. I love the relationship with his dad, the relationship with his mom. All the relationships are just developed so well. His mom, I love how at first she doesn't like Eleanor and then when she realizes what kind of situation Eleanor is in and she can relate to that and it was just so cute. I started crying when she brought the present to give to Eleanor on Christmas. I even liked Tina at the end. You could tell that she felt bad for Eleanor. She wanted to help her because she has a similar situation with her stepdad. The end is what bothered me because they didn't get back together and she didn't write to him and she didn't call him. Why didn't she do that? I don't understand, really. Eleanor was a little frustrating in the book. She just was so stuck in feeling that she wasn't good enough. I didn't understand it, but it's still a frustrating to read. Come on, Eleanor, Park really likes you. When she first went to his house and then she left immediately, that bothered me. But come on, just try. Give it a chance. She has a hard time. She's stubborn. But the end is what soured the whole story in my mouth. I see enough failed relationships in my life. I don't need to see these two adorable people get separated and not be reunited. The postcard at the end with the words I love you on it is not enough for me at the end of this story. I want to see them together. I don't want to hear I've stopped looking for her and blah 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 blah. Just, just end it on them running away together then or something. Just, or fast forward to the time where they see each other again. I mean, we could assume maybe they did eventually. <laughs> get back together, but we didn't see it, and I wanted to see it, and that made me really sad. And I closed the book, I was like, no! Stop it! Why? I love that Park's dad, towards the end, was really accepting of this whole situation. He totally understood Eleanor's predicament, and I loved when Park's mom was like, oh, I'm hungry, let's go out and get pizza, and then she's like, I'm actually not, I just want to stay here, you two go, you see a movie, take the car. I just wish it ended different, I wish it ended not like that. Oh, I wish it ended with dead stepdad and happy Eleanor's family and happy Eleanor and Park, and I know, not, life doesn't have happy endings, so that's why the story doesn't always have a happy seventh other, but... Stories can have happy endings, you just have to write them in. And I like that better. Like, I don't really understand what Eleanor said at the end, her point of view with their loving each other. I mean, I understand it, but I don't understand it because it didn't have to end. I mean, if I were her, I probably would have tried to figure things out at Park's house. 
I don't, I don't know. I, I... <sighs> so share your thoughts. What was your favorite part? I think my favorite part was when they first started reading the comic books together. It was just so cute. Just that one line about him reading the comic books slower. I was like, oh my god. They're reading comic books together on the bus and it is the cutest thing I've ever read. There's so many cute parts. Share your thoughts. I'm Christine. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!